y'all. It's your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where entertainment is what I do. Okay, let's do this real quick. Comment, like, and subscribe and share the Be Real with D Real page so that when new videos come out, you get first crack at it. So go ahead, smash down on that little bell, get that subscribe so that you can be tuned in. And if you're digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. It's how we grow things. Now, in a previous video, I told you I was going to tell you about the Naginata and the Katana. And I am. But first, first, let's talk about Kim Potter being convicted. First and second degree manslaughter. She was convicted of first and second degree manslaughter. That was back in December. Okay. Now, for those of you who are wondering, second degree manslaughter in the state of Minnesota carries a maximum penalty of 10 years. First degree manslaughter in the state of Minnesota carries a maximum penalty of 15 years. Okay. If you combine those two and average it out, that's like 12.5. Okay. And even if we went six, that'd be something. But what did we do? What did we sentence this, this Kim Potter uh, woman to? Two years, 24 months. And six of those are going to be probation. So she's doing a total of 18 months of actual time. And no, I guess time served. She's been in jail since December. That's what, two months? I got a homeboy that sat in jail longer than that, and he didn't do it. You see what I'm saying? But once again, and I hate to say it, it's non-people of color coming together to ensure that justice is not done. If I cry in front of a judge, what is that going to afford me? If I shed tears in front of a judge and, 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 and I didn't mean to do it, let's talk about didn't mean to do it. This here is a katana. It's actually a replica of Michonne's katana from The Walking Dead. And it's actually got an edge on it. So I'm going to keep that sheet. Uh, got a lot of got a lot of arms over here, but we'll get to that in a second. This is a naginada. It is sheathed. It's old. It's haggard. It's been through some stuff. We've been we've been through some things. Me and this old naginada. Um, here's the point. This all started because Miss Potter said. She was reaching for her taser, but actually pulled out her gun instead. If I'm reaching for this, but I grab this, you're saying to me, um, I don't know what weapon I'm handling. And I'm a veteran. I've been on the force for a while. In fact, when the shooting went down that day, she was training a rookie. So I'm training, huh? I know what you're saying. This is too big. This is too cumbersome. All right. Chinese short sword. Let's go there. Okay. If you ask for this weapon, and I give you this weapon, 
You know the difference between the two, don't you? If I close my eyes, I know which one is which. I know which one is the katana. I know which one is the short sword. And I've studied martial arts for a few years. I know the difference between those two weapons. You could hand me that weapon, either of them, and I'd know which one it was. You telling me somebody, okay, I understand you a cop, you may not pull your weapon as often as you might think it needs to be pulled or should be pulled, you don't. Also, again, and I know I've said this in videos before, I was in a previous marriage where I was married to a cop. So cops know what they have on them. Cops know when to draw it, when not to draw it experienced ones do and you're out here training another police officer so that means you're experienced you didn't mean to do it so we're gonna go easy on you and give you 16 months you didn't show the same leniency to the middle eastern officer who accidentally shot the caucasian woman in Minnesota. He didn't get no 16 months. He got years, plural. But we knew that was going to happen. And just like we know justice didn't get served on this sentencing day, um, and the mom is crying and, and pissed, she won't even say that cop's name. She just calls her the defendant because she don't deserve that, you know? And my whole thought process with that is how long are y'all going to blatantly do this to people of color? Judicial system, law enforcement, you have been doing this on video to people of color since 19. 1991, we have been getting abused and killed on camera. Still don't get no act right from it. So what's the solution of stopping all of this divisiveness? This decision created more divisiveness today in this country. And this country is more divided than it's ever been. I wager the country's more divided now than it was during the damn Civil War. You know, we are that down the middle. Only difference is we ain't killing each other yet. So what y'all want to do? Do y'all want to continue like this, America? Being a laughing stock of the planet because we don't even know how to make simple decisions like dispense justice in a commiserate, equal fashion. White person commit a crime, they get months. Black person commit a crime, they get years. I'm, I'm done trying to understand this and I'm done trying to explain it, okay? I understand being a police officer is an extremely difficult job, but apparently, so is being black in America. Yo, I'll be coming at y'all with another one and the mother ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Good to each other.